Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I've got a new tutorial. This is by request. We're going to be laying down some drum patterns using only stock plugins in Logic Pro X. And then I'm also going to show you some cool ways to drag in loops and sync tempos using just the uh, the browser in Logic. And then we have a, a, a tempo tool that we can set up here to uh, keep everything in, in sync. So let me go ahead and first, let's just tap out a tempo. So to tap tempo, uh, right now I have mine already programmed, but if you don't, just go to key commands up here and then go to edit. And you can see, you just search tap tempo and then mine is shift T. So I'm just gonna hit shift and then just start tapping T. That's got me at 96. So I'm, or 96 and a half. I'm just going to round that to 96. And then, you know, I just need a little melody to kind of get me going this morning. It's early. Let's see what we got. These are just some loops from my uh, drum kit. All right, so we'll just keep it simple. These are just some chords here. And I'm going to drag that in. And I am not going to import the tempo. It's going to ask us that. So we'll go to don't import. Now, you're going to notice that this is a little beyond our uh, eight bar cycle. It's because this loop, as you can see here, I've signified it's 95 BPM. We're at 96. So right now, that's going to be slightly off time. So we need to fix that. And what we can do is just hit analyze here in our file, file tempo menu for the region. Hit analyze. And I'm going to go ahead and this has got 95 in there, which is correct. We'll leave that. And then I'm going to go over here to actions and we're going to go to adapt region tempo to project tempo and align downbeat. So we'll click that. And then that's going to line us up. So let's turn on our metronome and make sure that's on. Yep, we're good. So that's locked in. And we'll use that same tool for some of our uh, drum loops if we decide to throw some of those in here. So all right, we got a basic little chord progression. Let's start working with some drums. So I'm going to load up Drum Machine Designer. And this is just Logic's kind of handy way of, of loading up some preset kits. Includes some, some really cool sounds in here. Right now I'm opened up to the uh, Snapback kit. Pretty cool. Some of those sounds are a little familiar. Let's go ahead and just program something really just kind of basic just to give us a, a groove here with the, that loop we've got. So I'm going to hit record. accidentally hit my clap over here somewhere. Uh, let me switch this view over. We're gonna just collapse those so we just get the drums here. And we've got the step editor there. I'm gonna zoom out. Where did I hit that clap at? I think it was right here. Yeah, no, here. I'm just gonna keep stacking with some samples from Drum Machine Designer. We'll pull that up here. So I did lay in some uh, triplets, which it probably did not, or it probably quantized them as 16th. So I have 16th note quantized here. So I'm just going to change these to triplets. And, oops. Do one. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, I got these as well. 
Let's trade those over here. All right, that's cool. Now let me switch that back to 16th. Let's lay down this little snap. I like that. So we'll take this. Uh, I'm going to mute the loop for now. Let's see, I think that should do it. Let me open up Drum Machine Designer. I want to turn the envelope for that kick drum. I don't want that to hang out so long. Let's see. Okay. That's sub control. Add a little bit of body. Where's the other snare? There we go. Um, All right, now let's move on to drum kit designer. I like to just lay acoustic samples underneath my programmed electronic stuff just to give it some texture and flavor here so let's see i'm gonna turn this up a little bit and i might put a compressor on here just to give us some more volume a little bit more glue with these hats here so we'll just do like a two to one with some good makeup and let's just play around here actually kind of cool so i'll hit that uh it's retrospective record i think is what they call it let's see let's just move this cycle and then i'm going to just hit uh command r and we'll just repeat that and join just command j Cool. Uh, what is this? What do the snares sound like on this? I want our snare to just have a little bit more life to it. So maybe I'll turn that down. It might be a little much, but let's just see. That's cool. So just something subtle back there. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I had one extra ghost note there that I'm not crazy about. So we'll get rid of those. This pattern feels a little stiff to me since it's live drums. Let's go over here to quantize and I've got some of my uh, handy little settings here. They're vintage grooves from like the MPC, ASR 10, all that stuff. So I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna just drag in some kind of maybe crash or something on the downbeat. That might be cool. Something a little different. We'll turn it down. Let me 
put a delay on it. We're using all stock plugins today, so let's go here and we'll do maybe a. Go back to our kick here. Where's the first kick? And I'm going to tune this a little different. Sounding pretty cool. Let's uh, bring in another loop or two from one of my kits and we can line up the timing of it. That might be kind of cool. Let's just drag that in here. And again, we need to adjust that uh, tempo. So we'll hit analyze. And this is 85. Yep. And so we're going to go to adapt. And then let's repeat that. Oh. So I'm going to take off the low end just so that we can let our uh, kick drum kind of dominate that space. But with some of that 100 to 200 there, there's a little kick drum and it's kind of playing off of our main kick drum. Sounds cool. Let's. Let's try and transpose that just for the heck of it. Maybe we can add a little bit of uh, just a room on there. This is actually a recording of me and a friend of mine. Uh, we were just tapping and stomping on a table with paint cans. It was pretty unique, but uh, we did that a while ago. Let's just put Space Designer on here, though, just to give it a little bit more of an ambience. We were out on a porch or a patio, but it was closed in here. Let's um, maybe go to Gated Reverb Chamber. pretty cool now maybe on the end of just the uh, the fourth bar and the eighth bar we could do a little like slow down so we're going to open up the fade menu over here and then i'm going to go to fade and we'll just do this and then i'm going to go to slow down instead of fade out if it'll let me oh you know what i think because we have the uh tempo on it won't let me do the or the transpose let's see if we yeah, so if you have transpose on, you can't do a slowdown. So we're not going to be able to do that. Let me put that back. That's pretty cool. Now, the other thing in Logic that you can do, you know, you can see the browser. They've really improved this, and I like the workflow of, of it. So we can just add some, you know, wave samples, just dragging them in and maybe add some effects here. Let's uh, get this. Yeah. And I may do some pitching and things with this. So yeah, let's move that over here, I think right here. That's cool. And maybe we'll do a delay on that as well. And 
And let's do a tape stop on this washer just to make it unique. I'm going to go to the fade menu and go to slow down. Maybe we want to do like a fill here. Maybe. Alright, so let's play everything back without that loop going. All right, y'all, so we just programmed some fun uh, drum patterns here using stock plugins in Logic Pro X. I'm actually gonna allow you to download this file as a template or a session. So if you wanna uh, follow along with this in the video, you can, and it also includes some samples and loops from my drum kit, which is the niche kit. So if you wanna check that out, if you have any questions or comments about creating drum patterns with the stock plugins in Logic Pro X, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. And we'll talk to you soon.